All right, there we go. Now it's not in the... All right, now my phone's not in the picture. It's not captured in the video, whatever. Ah. I'm having trouble with Word right now, apparently. All right, so yeah, today is, hmm, what is today? Dang, man, it's been a week, huh? It's Wednesday. That's already Wednesday. Holy crap. So, obviously, I uh, missed my Wednesday. Not Wednesday. Holy moly. All right, I missed my Sunday. <laughs> ah, I missed my Sunday upload. That's what I was trying to get out. Uh, it was just kind of a busy weekend, and just honestly, just it was a busy week, busy weekend, and uh, just... Knew I had a busy week coming up as well, so I just didn't get around to, to making a video over the weekend. So now it's Wednesday. Here I am in the truck. I'm heading out uh, on a TDY, going over to teach a class for the next two days. Um, so I figured, hey, I've got this two-hour drive. Why not spend a minute, make a quick little video while I'm driving, just kind of share my thoughts and processes of what's been going on over the last, I guess, week and a half now on uh, just my transition and all that good stuff, right? Uh, so let's start off with last week. Uh, pretty slow week. I uh, didn't have a lot going on as far as my transition goes or anything like that. I did interview for another skill bridge. It went really well. And I've been invited to do a second interview as well. Um, so that'll happen on Friday afternoon. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I won't lie. It is a little bit out of my technical skills. Um, it's something I'm very interested in though, and it's something that I'm trying to get to eventually. Might not be right now though. Um, so I wanted the experience of going through the interview. I wanted to see what the interview process looked like for this position. Uh, end of the day, it's for a skill bridge. If it works out, great. If not, no sweat off my back, right? I'll now have that experience of actually uh, interviewing for this type of position if I still want to do it in the future. So that was my you know, what I had in mind whenever I kind of saw the position posted and, and set up the interview process and all of that was like, hey, you know, this isn't a eggs all in this basket type of scenario for me. This is a, it'd be awesome if I could make this work out. Um, but again, like I said, for me, a lot of it was the experience. And I think that's kind of another important piece that, you know, maybe we don't think about too much during this whole process of transitioning out and using SkillBridge. Um, after doing it and interviewing for this position, I'm like, man, you know, this is something we kind of need to think more about. And it's, I'm not saying, you know, go out there and apply for a skill bridge to be a lawyer and not have your law degree. Um, but if it's a field that you're interested in, you have the soft skills for it and you're wanting to put in the work to get the hard skills for it, you know, don't shy away from not applying and at least going through the process and uh, seeing, you know, what you need to get better at where you need to sharpen your skills so in the future if that's a position you want you know what you know what you need to do to nail an interview for it right so i think that can be a very important thing to use skillbridge for again i'm not saying go out and just interview thousands of different positions and all of this stuff but if you there's some positions that you're interested in why not give it a shot you know um, get that feedback as well you know, what, what can I do to make myself, you know, the more ideal candidate moving forward? Um, so that'll just help you in the future once you're out and all that good stuff. So something to think about, like I said, that was kind of the big reason I used it. Um, we'll see how the interview goes Friday. It goes great. Awesome. Something will come out of it. If not, um, it was an opportunity to learn and build my skills, right? Uh, outside of that, not really too much happening in the world of uh, my transition just kind of right now it's kind of that slow lull time i've got a few actually let me rephrase that i have one more interview i believe the first week of march um with another company for a skill bridge 
at that point that'll be three different companies that I've skill bridged interviewed for um, I do have a solid offer from one right now um, so I'm kind of using that as my fallback it's uh, it's there it's available um, so I figure I'll give myself a few more interviews with a few more companies just to see what they're able to offer to see if they have any positions that might be available for once the skill bridge is over and I can transition to a full-time employee. I would like to interview for a couple of positions like that. Um, but ultimately, I feel like by mid-March, late March, I need to make the decision of you know what I'm going to do for my skill bridge, who I'm going to do it with, and that, that type of thing. That way I can start uh, getting everything uploaded and getting approval and get my timeline uh, defined. Um, that way all that will be set uh, as I get closer to time to rolling into a skill bridge and I'm not having to scramble too chaotically uh, to get everything done and, and get my skill bridge kicked off, right? So I'm going to give myself a few more weeks, reach out to a few more companies, uh, see if we can set up some more interviews and kind of go from there with it. Um, so it should be pretty exciting. It's pretty, pretty fun. Um, fun's probably a weird word to use, but... I think you're in a unique position using the skill bridge. I mean, you want to take it seriously. And I think the hope and the goal is to turn it into a full-time position, right? Um, but I, I think for me, at least personally, I'm trying not to get too stressed out about it. I'm not trying to get too overworked about it, right? And it also comes down to how you've positioned yourself for the future. Um, you know, for me, I'm retiring. Uh, my wife works, um, you know, I, I would say it's not like we've got millions in the bank or anything like that, or we're overly, superly prepared for me to be without a job for six months or a year. Um, but we're, we're in a position where we can, we can make it work if, if I'm out of a job for a little while. So I'm able to kind of approach the skill bridge opportunity, maybe a little bit differently than say somebody that's just separating. Uh, maybe they have, don't have as much in savings. They can't live, you know, without a job for six months or a year. So yeah, they do need to definitely be taking the skill bridge process seriously and trying to line something up, secure employment down the road. Uh, again, for me in my shoes, um, I'm trying to, you know, again, take it easy with it and not get super stressed out about the interviews and things like that. Um, just because I think Transitioning without skill bridge, just a normal military transition out is, is stressful enough, right? Whether you did four, four years, six years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever, um, everyone that's done this before says, hey, this is a scary process, this is a stressful process, right? The data is there to support that even. And so I think when you look at it like that, just already knowing like, hey, this, this is stressful, Adding in the skill bridge aspect of it and being stressed out over a skill bridge, um, I don't think it's worth it. It's not for me. It's not worth it for my mental health, and it's not worth it for my family, for me to be putting them through that extra stress or anything like that. So again, for me, I'm trying to just take it all in, enjoy the process, learn from it, and hopefully you know, I'll be able to share my experience with you all here on YouTube and uh, other people will hopefully be able to use my information to help them make decisions and um, just assist you however you transition out, right? Whatever you choose to do. Um, and I think that's just kind of, again, my take on it. That's how I feel about it. That's how I'm approaching this whole skill bridge thing and my transition out, right? Not everyone is in that same bucket and that's fine. Uh, what's the dude on LinkedIn prior I think he's prior Green Beret. Herb Thompson always says, what's his catchphrase? Own your journey? Or is that the watch guy? Is that the guy that like, you gotta find him? He's got the watch company and you have to find him to get a free watch, just own your journey? Or is it the same? The two people, you, two different people use that same catchphrase that I'm thinking of? I'm gonna have to fact check myself after this video. Herb might use it and that other guy might use it as well. But either way, it's a good saying for us going through a, uh, when you're going through a transition like this, leaving the military, own your journey, right? Own, own your process, own what, what you can control is the other big piece of that, right? Um, so, 
kind of focus in here. Got a bus stopping, so, you know, don't want to be too distracted here making this video while I'm driving. I'm driving some back roads, country roads, slow speeds, things like that. So I'm not, you know, out here doing 90 on the H1. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of really all I've got for this week. Just kind of wanted to share those thoughts. Um, again, you know, I think, what, two, two times in a row now I've already missed my Sunday deadlines. But, again, um, stuff going on. You know, that's just the goal. If I can meet that, great. If not, no worries, right? Um, but anyways, uh, as always, I hope that uh, you're able to get some value out of this. Um, I hope you kind of stick around, enjoy, you know, these videos as I put them up and kind of just be part of the, the process and part of the transition journey for me over this next few months as I leave the Air Force. Um, but again, I appreciate anyone that stops in and watches. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try and get them answered whether it's just general military questions or if it's Air Force specific questions, I will do my absolute best to get you an answer. Um, if you liked the content, you plan on seeing what I'm doing in six months, uh, like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Uh, other than that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their week. Thank you.